Interesting facts you probably didn't know about Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John, one of the biggest pop stars of the 1970s and 1980s, who charmed generations of viewers in the movie musical Grease, died on Monday, August 8, according to a statement from her husband. She was 73. For the past three decades, Newton-John has been struggling with breast cancer. The fight started in 1992 when the star received her first diagnosis. She was subsequently able to fight the disease into remission. However, it came back in 2013. After another successful fight, the disease returned stronger than ever in 2017. Today, the beloved entertainer has reportedly passed away. From 1973-83, Newton John was among the world's most popular entertainers. She had 14 top 10 singles just in the U.S., won four Grammys, starred with John Travolta in Greece and with Gene Kelly in Xanadu. The fast-stepping Travolta Newton John duet, You're the One That I Want, was one of the era's biggest songs and has sold more than 15 million copies. She's Australian. Olivia Newton John was born on September 26, 1948, in Cambridge, Cambridgeshire, England. She lived there until she was five years old, and her family relocated to Australia when her father was offered a job as the dean of a college in Melbourne. When she was a teen she returned to live in England with her mother, after winning a singing talent contest. She kept her cute Australian accent, though. She competed in Eurovision. The 1974 Eurovision contest took place on home soil in Brighton with Olivia performing second up in an eye-catching, and not in a good way, ruffled baby blue full-length dress. She sang Long Live Love. It was an odd choice that drowned out her figure but she put in a strong performance and finished a credible fourth place on the night to a little group called ABBA and their song Waterloo. Speaking to the Daily Telegraph in 2015 Newton John said the experience was terrifying and dreadful because she wasn't a fan of the song, saying the viewing audience voted for the song and it was my least favorite. She almost rejected the role that made her famous. Olivia admitted she almost turned down the chance to play Sandy in Greece because she thought she was too old for the part. I could not play a high school student at 28, she thought. Luckily, John Travolta befriended her and convinced her to stay on the Grease set. John was charming and really wanted me to do the movie, she said. That was one of the deciding factors. She and John Travolta were almost romantic together. Their chemistry was palpable off-screen just as much as it was on. But sadly, life always got in the way. It almost happened between us a few other times but it didn't, John once revealed. Sometimes life just offers you the wrong timing. She and John revisited Greece characters in Glorious Final Time. Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta reprised their iconic Greece roles for special sing-along screenings held in West Palm Beach, Florida in 2019, which are understood to have been their last in-character reunions together. Her sister married one of her co-stars. Just like Olivia, her older sister Rona also pursued acting. She was actually briefly married to Greece heartthrob Jeff Conaway, who played the daredevil Kanicki. She comes from a family of brainiacs. Did you know that Olivia's German grandfather was a Nobel Prize winning physicist? Or that her dad was an MI5 officer that worked on the famous Enigma project? Her brother Hugh also added to the family legacy by becoming a doctor. Love singing. Olivia Newton-John loved singing a talent she had embraced and started developing in her adolescence. According to the National Film and Sound Archive of Australia, Olivia won a talent competition organized by Australian music legend Johnny O'Keefe in 1964 on the program Sing, Sing, Sing. This was an early indication of her talent. Went through several miscarriages. Olivia disclosed that she experienced multiple miscarriages throughout her motherhood journey in her 2019 memoir Don't Stop Believin'. According to the Daily Mail, the first occurred in 1982, before she married Latanzi. Almost rejected her famous role. Olivia admitted that she almost turned down the role of Sandy in Greece because she thought she was too old. Fortunately, John Travolta befriended her and persuaded her to remain on the Greece set. Advocate for medical cannabis. Olivia Newton-John developed a preference for cannabis over conventional medical treatments during the three decades she battled cancer. Olivia was first exposed to the effects of the plant by her husband John Easterling. Lost her sister to cancer. Olivia Newton-John's own cancer experience was circumscribed by the people she cared about the most, particularly her sister. Rona Newton-John, who had been suffering from brain cancer, 
died in 2013 at the age of 70. Belongs from a family of brainiacs. Olivia's grandfather was a Nobel Prize winning physicist, and her father worked for MI5 on the famous Enigma project. Hugh, her brother, also became a doctor, adding to the family legacy. Had outrageous mishaps on set. Few scenes in film history are more memorable than Sandy's transformation from goody two-shoes to greaser at the Grease School Carnival. However, a zipper on Olivia's costume broke during filming, forcing the crew to sew her into those tight black pants. Adores animals. Olivia's Instagram feed reveals her deep love of animals at a single glance. She has not only shared photos of adorable baby chicks on her farm, but also of crown-wearing cats and cuddly pups. Dear viewers, do not forget to subscribe, like and comment for the development of our channel. Stay with love.